KFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently got all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow's up 150, the S&P 15, the Nasdaq is up 10, Russell's up 20. The big mover out here are the uh, transports are up one and a quarter percent, 176 points. You've got gold trading out at uh, 1811. That's down about five bucks. Silver's trading at 2385. That's down 32 pennies. Lights we crude up a buck 57, trading out at 7017, maybe making a run for the 7502 level. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update charts. As we begin, we look at the ES mini upper left hand corner. No real changes here other than today is going to become bar number nine of a TD nine count. And that says the ES mini could or should form a top, a short term top, uh, some type of top between today and tomorrow, a higher high. Um, and I would have to say most likely it would be tomorrow. But, uh, you know, who, who knows? Now, the cool thing about the TD nine count pattern is whatever the high is, whether it's today's high or tomorrow's high, the highest high of these two days, if price closes above that on Tuesday, that will tell us about a strong momentum move to the upside. And in fact, that price will go target that 4,600 level. And that's a real possibility because that spot volatility next is trading below its 50-day exponential moving average. That's the second chart. The third chart is the NQ. Now, the NQ formed a, is going to form a TD nine count pattern today as well. So that says that either the high of yesterday at this stage, because we have not made a higher high in the NQ today, but whether it's yesterday's high, today's high, or tomorrow's high, whichever is the highest of those, though, that would be the level that you would be watching. If price closes above that, that tells us about a strong momentum move to the upside, and the NQ would then go ahead and target its next. A to B equals CD level. That's at the 15,887 area. U.S. dollar index, this looks like day number two below the bottom of its daily profile. But hold your horses. Before we start to call this some type of failure, this too is going to generate a TD nine count bottom. And maybe that's the reason that gold and silver aren't really moving too much. Gold just uh, finding resistance at the top of its daily profile at 1806. Silver, on the other end, is testing support, which is the top of its daily profile. Once you close above resistance, which is the top of a daily profile, any retracements back may find support. Old resistance becoming support. That's what we have inside of silver as we speak right now. Uh, Lights week crew. We talked about that. Maybe forming an A to B equals CD to upside. It's got a TD nine count pattern that could be forming by tomorrow as well. Same with natural gas. A lot of nines, a lot of eights and nines out there. So stay tuned, folks, for the Traders Edge Show. If you're off to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. We look forward to seeing you soon. The reality 